My name is Yusuf Dubois Davis Abdul Latif. I think the question is, for me is, considering myself an artist, you know, it distinguishes you from, I guess, other ways of doing or other ways of being. And I see so much art in regular things that I feel that we are all in this type of creative process, but just don't really realize it. So I think that, um, you know, I am an artist, but being an artist, I've realized that, you know, not everything is art, but everything has the potential to be art or used in an artistic way. And everyone has the potential to be an artist. I guess, in, I think art speaks to doing something to your greatest potential or striving to do something. That struggle, that process, somewhere in that is art making, you know? And if you realize it, then you are an artist. So I'm black. <laughs> Uh, and if I'm standing next to my artwork, then I've, I've made something about race. Uh, and how does one, you know, liberate themselves from, you know, that idea or use it, you know? And that's, you know, that goes back to you know, that's the audience projecting onto what I'm doing. That's society. There's a number of things, but, you know, this idea of black art. You know, I saw a website, you know, blackart.com. But, you know, it's assuming a lot. Because you put someone else next to my paintings who's black, but has a different personal history or story than the art speaks differently, or should. Um, but to lump it into one particular category could be dangerous because you're not allowing for, you know, some type of expansion for the art to be. And it can be about race, but art is never just one thing. You know, I think it's, it has a potential to live and in a lot of different places. The truthfulness lies in the, the act of making, you know, um, or the reasons of why we make, if someone were to make my painting and then I said that I made it, you know, someone would say, well, you're lying. But in that line, there's some type of process. My process is someone making my painting and then I sign it. You know, which that happens, you know. Is that painter, is that artist lying, you know? That's one thing that we can't run from is the fact that, you know, you are physically experiencing this world and you're making or you're doing something, then you are a part of this whole mechanism, whether you like it or not. And in that is the truth. And that's something that you're not, you know, that is what it is. If you break the word down, you're, in, you're, you're a part of multiple common unities. And that unity, there's some type of value in that unity. There's value there. And that value um, working com in the community, you know, finding ways to build on that value, like expand that value, you know, how does, how can I be of service to this unifying factor and, and, and bring about more value and expand the community, you know, you know, how does one common unity connect to another common unity? And it's you as an individual. There's a, there's a level of sincerity and presence that you have to have in order to make art, whatever it is. And that level of honesty, I think, 
is always something that people can connect with or that level of just being there is something that people can connect with that level of just making for the sake of making or, or asking a question or or trying to change a thing that that you know you never see an artist that is sincere about what they're doing just totally not engaged you never see that you see somebody that's engaged in what they're doing whatever it is and that level of engagement starts to create this artistic moment and i think that those moments bring us closer to the re reality of what really is or what's the importance or the purpose. I think it brings us closer to our purpose, you know, and to realize your purpose is, you know, beyond any monetary structure. Say goodbye. Peace. Peace. Art, son. Art. <laughs> art, 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 art. <laughs>